okay to know the circle of willis first you have to draw a hexagon which means it has six ends uh, see the lower two ends and middle two ends upper two ends these lower two ends are related to posterior cerebral artery middle one is related to middle cerebral artery and upper two are related to anterior cerebral artery now listen both vertebral artery joins to form basilar artery which divides to give posterior cerebral artery and here you got two posterior cerebral artery what is that one that is your internal carotid artery so uh, the artery appears like this because the courses at right angles to this picture when you take a cut section the artery appears like a, a lumen and this internal carotid artery gives anterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery so now you got three cerebral arteries posterior is a branch of basilar anterior and middle is a branch of internal carotid just notice this middle cerebral is giving a branch called anterior choroidal artery and directly from your internal carotid is the posterior communicating i repeat so posterior cerebral artery is a branch of basilar artery this internal carotid artery it gives two branches anterior cerebral and middle cerebral it gives another branch called posterior communicating so these three branches are from internal carotid from the middle cerebral artery we have anterior choroidal artery what is the artery connecting to anterior cerebral artery that is anterior communicating artery so this is your circle of willis now let's move on to the blood supply of internal capsule we know internal capsule is present on either side of the circle of willis both on the right and the left side so what are the branches before that what are the parts of internal capsule that is anterior limb the part connecting two limbs is genu and below is the posterior limb and the part below the lentiform nucleus is sub lentiform behind the lentiform is retro lentiform these are the parts of internal capsule so it's easy to remember blood supply of internal capsule just uh, bring the respective arteries from near the circle of willis see anterior cerebral artery is the largest it takes a long course it is also called recurrent artery so you can see this anterior cerebral artery supplies anterior limb and genu and this recurrent branch of anterior cerebral artery is called hubner's artery what is the next artery in the circle of willis our internal carotid artery so we have direct branch from the internal carotid artery supplying genu what is the main branch from ica that is middle cerebral artery this artery gives lateral lenticulostriate branch to supply the posterior limb of internal capsule this posterior limb is clinically important because uh, mostly the stroke happens due to occlusion of the artery supplying the posterior limb hence this artery is called charcot's artery of cerebral hemorrhage what is that branch from the middle cerebral artery that is anterior choroidal which supplies the sublentiform next the posterior and that is posterior cerebral which supplies the retro lentiform part of internal capsule most of the pre pg questions are from blood supply of internal capsule let's talk about the fibers location and relations in the next video